In less than a month, the next session of the Rhode Island General Assembly will kick off and there'll be a lot of new faces. One in seven lawmakers will be a freshman in 2017. So we sat down with two incoming legislators to get their take on what's ahead. Iowa to Susan Porter, Tim White is here now with the details, new at 530. With marijuana becoming legal in Massachusetts this coming Thursday, lawmakers here in Rhode Island will likely be tackling the issue next year. As long as it's illegal at the federal level, absolutely. Republican State Representative-elect Kenneth Mendonca uh, opposes making recreational pot legal. He's concerned it will hurt Aquidneck Island's ability to get a defense industry workforce that can pass federal drug screenings. We already have a problem with trying to get the right skill set for our workforce today. Um, we really need to look hard before we decide to quick for the quick money and say what's the economic impact down the road. I, I believe Rhode Island already has a large population that uses marijuana. Incoming Democratic State Senator Janine Culkin says now's the time. I think if we um, regulate and we tax it, it could be a potential income source for the state. The pair found common ground in their opposition for tolling large commercial trucks to pay for highway and bridge repairs. I would have voted against the tolls. We have a, an economic issue here, and the last thing we need to do is put another tax in. That's not going to make us more attractive. Both Mendonca and Culkin say they were asked a lot about tolls when they were out on the campaign trail. Lawmakers will be sworn in on January 3rd. Tim White, Eyewitness News.